labor, and the expression of worth. Which J? Are you the first J or the second J? Oh, oh my Joe. Travis! Oh, my this my. is your place. This, this is, is this Jay is and Jay on Jay the and Jay, Jimmy and Joe. Jimmy and Joe, look at Jimmy, Jimmy Ward. That side of the shop to this side. So this is your new place. Yes, it is. You got like computers over here. This looks like a diagnostic station. It is a diagnostic station. Yes. Fact, I'm that to do a BMW. And Jimmy. The first judge. Jimmy and Joe, these two people are very important people in my life. And I was tell just telling Joe, I'm doing this project, it's called Labor in the Expression of Worth. Yeah. And your labor is aligning with the worth. Doing it honestly and trying to carry the principles that we learned in AA to this and the work. And then of course, our relationship has been tested. I don't know if that's a good word. I think just tested is a great word. I think we, <laughs> I think we've had to grow, but I think if you, Jimmy's always saying, do the the next right thing that's in front of you. His dream really is to open up his place and serve the people at what he does best. And so I'm just here to support him. Sometimes I'm not any help. <laughs> <laughs> we spent so much time together. I remember Joe always talks about the dignity of one's own walk. And Jimmy, just what Joe just said, just do the next right thing. Jimmy, I don't know how many times that comes to my mind. Just do the next right thing. This business is the next right thing for you. Is that right? Yeah, it was the uh, only move I had left. The oh, here I got to stay in the game as long as I can. It's so valuable to, to know that... I have a place I can take my car where I'm going to be treated fairly and honestly. Right. So when I know a mechanic, I'm just trying to document this beautiful thing that has come to pass, this thing of great worth, and also I know great responsibility. And you know, there's a there's a there's a long way to go, but you're at the beginning of this business, and I'm just celebrating. Well, this has been the plan since 2000. When did I decide to go back to work on cars? 2011, I think. And uh, <laughs> taking lots of sacrifice and, and uh, hard work. 2011, that, that's how long it's taken this vision to come. Yeah, I didn't have any of, I, I didn't even have a set of sockets in 2011. So I put all this together in 10 years. Okay, 10 years to put together all the tools, all the resources that you needed to start this place. That's a lot of vision. That's and learning, training. Mm -hmm. I, right. I started with, I, I had absolutely, you could fit everything I had in a box this big. <laughs> what, what is it that you said? You've had, exp you've had, you've had a lot of experience with, with, with loss. Right. Yeah, I mean, right. I've, I've heard these stories. And this is... Another story, though. Yes, this is the new story. The new story. This is this was what could happen if you get the stace over. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> Drunk, homeless, and in jail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is some kind of different. Well, we're trying not to. We're trying not to repeat that. Again. <laughs> I love you guys. And I, I value well, we, I value we your love wisdom. You too. That's been great watching you bouncing around out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've been you've taken us on a wild ride. Oh, have you been following oh, a little yeah, bit? Something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's it's getting a little wilder, um, or at least it feels. I'm, I've got the homeless part down, but I, but I, but I've been told to not. I'm not homeless. You well, know, that, like that there, the, you know that 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 there is this home right here and that I must know that in order to, if, if I am to ever have a home in this world, that I must know that first. And I think that's, you know, that's the, those yeah. are the, the principles, that's one of the principles I think of knowing to thine own self be true. You know? I tell my sponsees, they tell me, I'm lonely. I, I try to explain to them that it's impossible to be alone on planet Earth. There's five billion people on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get away from them. <laughs>
You're trying to get away from me. It's impossible to be alone. You're only lonely if you choose to be lonely. Can, can you impart that wisdom? Is there some way to teach? Can you, can you just, is there a pill that we can take for that? <laughs> <laughs> is, can, can, is, there an easier, is there an easy and soft way to, uh, to, to get this, to gain this wisdom? Oh, uh, yeah. Just go hang out at a rock concert for a minute or two and realize that uh, there's too many people here. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> That's how I feel at rock concerts. Okay, guys, thanks. <laughs>